Hello everybody, this is Dino GTO and this video here is going to be covering the changes to premiums in the upcoming 9.17 Super Test. Uh, Super Test is something that's basically exclusive to Russia. It's it's going to be testing the upcoming changes to these six premiums here. Now, the main ones I'm covering are the Lova and the WZ111. Because the others, you can see plainly what their stats changes are going to be. The only one that's not like that is the STA2. Because it has an engine change, but we don't know if that increased the horsepower. Or what that did. So, yeah. All the others, you can just see plainly what they changed. Like, you know what horsepower increased the M4A1 wherever the rage got? It says right there. Uh, up to 550 horsepower, right here. And you can see with the Panther 2, or Panther 88, and the FE4202, what changed? Now, the reason I'm focusing on the WZ111 and the one and the 112, and the Lova is because they have changes that aren't really shown. They have increased the lower front plate armor and the third armor of the WZ111, and they have increased the front armor in general for the Lova as well as some third armor as well as increased the lower side armor Now when we get to the changes you're going to see why they didn't really show us what the changes were But I would have appreciated it if they had like given some kind of idea as to what the changes were Like for all we knew we could they could have just increased the armor by Five millimeters on the front and they could have said oh, yeah, it's, it's still buff So yeah, it's kind of annoying and the, oh, yeah, and the Lova also got uh 10 degrees gun depression now instead of 8 and the WZ111 got huge buffs to its overall gun handling which is really nice because um, that was kind of an issue with that machine and part of the reason why I ran gun land drive over something like vents or something else I don't know but yeah uh, I'm going to recover I'm going to cover these two vehicles mainly because the super test leak has just happened and we have we can actually see what the armor changes were. So let's look at the WZ111 first because it's just faster. Now, first change is they have increased the upper or the uh, roof turret armor for the, well, for the turret. But yeah, it's went from 25 to 55. That's a big buff because it means no longer will 76mm guns be able to overmatch the turret, which is pretty nice. Uh, if the 76mm gun got above you before, they could just fire down onto your turret and pan every single time. So, yeah. Pretty nice wee buff. And then we'll come to the lower plate. Before, only 80mm, while the upper front plate was 120 That was a pretty huge weak point. I've actually seen one of these get panned frontally by KV-2 before. The KV-2 was below it, on, like, going up a hill, and the WZ-111 came over the crest. And the KV-2 just put a shot straight up into his, um, lower plate. It was kind of amazing. Um, it, it panned too, so it, he did like 900 damage in one shot. It was, it was mental. But yeah, that's not going to happen ever again, because now it's 120mm lower plate, as well as on the upper plate. Now, a lot of people are going to be looking at that going, oh my god, this made the WZ, uh, or, not WZ, this made the 112 irrelevant again. Not true. The 112 has 100 side armor here, 140, 140 lower plate armor, 120 upper armor, or upper front plate armor. Whereas WZ111 has 80 side armor still, it's going to have 120 lower plate armor, 120 upper plate armor. So overall, the 112 still has way better armor. And the what what they have done effectively is they made the 112 the proper heavy. They have made it the slow, slower, but better armored alternative to the WZ111, which has better gun handling and more speed, but less armor because of that. Which I think is a pretty good way of going about it, because the uh, 111 also got some engine horsepower buff. I only got a bit of an engine horsepower buff up to 600 horsepower now, which I would say I put, would put it on par with the IS-3, except this thing has a higher top speed. Um, so that's pretty good change in my opinion. Now, I think that's about all I really need to say about that. Now on to the Lova. Lova may take a wee while longer to talk about. Uh, 
first off, it's going to go up back up to the top, and for some reason it's... There it is. It's kind of annoying. Stupid thing. Um, yeah, first buff, kind of irrelevant. Uh, they just made the top of are flat 80 all around. Not much of a buff there. And the reason why it's a different colour is because they've added significantly more armor zones to this machine. There's four new armor zones on this machine in comparison to what it had before, as you can see. Uh, previous max was 120. Now it's from 120 to 225 with like three in between. Which, yeah, that just gives you an idea of like, it, it makes you think that, oh my god, they, they've added significant armor to this thing. And then you look at the side, this is the old one. 80 lower side, 80 on the side of the turret, 100 here. The place no one ever shoots. So yeah, um, wasn't really that effective side armor wise. Now the lower side armor is now 100, upper side armor 100. They have extended the 120 area of the turret back here, which is pretty nice. And the the back half of the turret is still 80 millimeters, so KV2s can still pan the back of this thing's turret. And that yes, that is a thing I've seen happen before too. Um, yeah, when you play like 26,000 games in a game, then you've basically seen everything. <laughs> so yeah. Now on to the front armor. This is how bad the front armor was before. It has a 120mm strip, which is totally flat, that Type 58 skin pen. Uh, if you don't know what Type 58 is, it's Tier 6 Chinese medium with, I think, one of the lowest pens in Tier 6. So, yeah. Tier 6 light tanks have more pen than that, typically. Um, well, other than the 59-16. That I think that's probably the only Tier 6 that can't pen the lever frontly. So, yeah. Um, then it has the 120 zone, you can see here, below the mantlet. Now, this is a bigger weak point than you, may th than you may think, because previously when you were hauled down, people could just shoot below your mantlet and they could still pen you, which was huge. That that was a weak point that even like things like Cromwells could take advantage of, so that was a huge weak point. Uh, the 150 side, or the 150 lower plate armor, still not that great. 170 front upper plate armor, which was just horrific. Uh, that's, that's horrific upper plate armor. Now let's look at the new model. I'm not really impressed by what they've done. They have given 175 uh, turret face armor. I assume this bit here, because it's a different armor zone, is 180. While this is 175, so yeah, that takes into account those two armor zones. Uh, this 225 area is here, so that's three of the new armor zones that is. And the 130 zone is here. Uh, that's not good enough. 185 upper plate armor is just nowhere near on the level you need to be for a machine like this. This is a machine, and the reason why I'm making such a big deal of this, this is a machine with a worse power to weight ratio than the mouse. That's the machine, that's the heaviest machine in the game. Yes, it has the most powerful engine in the game, but it's by far the heaviest machine in the game. But I think at least... 30 or 40 tons. Even the Japanese come nowhere near it. Now, the lower plate, I'm not fussed on. I don't really care that much about a lower plate buff. The reason for that is because it's, a, it's German. You cover the lower plate if you possibly can. But the upper front plate being so shit is just inexcusable. This needs to be at least 205 base thickness. Or not base thickness. Um, Effective thickness from this angle. At least 205 in the very center, like here. So this would have been like 210, this would be like 210. So yeah, this needs to be at least 205 effective on the upper front plate. I, I wouldn't even mind a lower front plate nerf because of it, because everything pins is on it anyway, so no real harm in nerfing that. Uh, leave this, I would say buff this by, right now I think it's 130, I think this is the buffed area here. I would say I'd give that an extra 20 millimeters of armor, and I think that would make this thing semi-competitive. Actually, no, no, I take that back. 30 millimeters of armor because I would say 160 upper front plate armor would make more sense because this thing effectively has Tiger to would would effectively have more thickness, raw thickness than the Tiger two, but still worse front armor than the Tiger two because the lower plate is bigger. It's a slower tank. So we can't outmaneuver stuff at all. 
and it would also mean that it's up front plate may actually be in the same kind of tier as the uh, Tiger 2, which would be nice. Um, it's a pretty huge weak point, and if you don't understand why this is such a big deal, I'm just going to show you why. This is the pre-buff Luva, so still 120 front armor all over here, still the 80 side armor here. So, yeah. Here is why this area here being just 130 millimeters thick it will not be good enough. Let's angle this thing, roughly angle where the center of the gun is. Let's see, I'll probably put it about here. That seems about good there. Um, about there, yeah, that seems good. No. Here's the problem. This thing here, you cannot side scrape in this thing without showing this area here. That's 180 millimeters of. Ah, hang on, I need to raise this gun, it's annoying me. That seems about right there. Now, this is 180 millimeters of armor, and even if you angle it down like about this, it's only 190 armor. This needs to be more in like the 220 region, 230 region. Because, as I've said before, slower than the mouse. Acceleration wise. That top speed wise, it only, well, although the top speed I will say is basically a lie. It's top speed, I would say, is more like 28 on flat terrain if you give it half an hour. So, yeah. Um, this needs to be effective 230 at least, I would say. Because shit like T34s will still go through it like paper. And tier 9s, some tier 9s will struggle against it, but not very many. Honestly, I would argue it would need to be in like 240 region to be able to actually use armor because it's so slow. It's only real saving grace would need to be armor. So there are two options I see for this machine. Either make this whole, whole upper front plate 160 armor, nerf the lower plate armor to compensate, and leave the 225 area or nerf it to like 205 or something like that there armor. Just to compensate for the upper front plate, because it needs a better upper front plate. It can't get away with 130 millimeters. That's nowhere near enough. Um, or the other option is give it a better engine. Give this thing like a 1200 horsepower engine, because this thing right now, as I've said, I think three times already, it's no worse part of weight ratio than the mouse, and. It's just way too slow to be able to do anything in the current games. And now, this is the one thing, the most important thing I want to say. The main thing this thing needs, with both of those two options I just said, is a rate of fire buff. This thing here has a 1600 DPM. 1600, a tier 8. That is devastatingly bad. I think even with Rammer Vents, let's see, Rammer, where you at? Rammer Vents, Brothers in Arms, you get your reload 9.91 seconds. Now, how many people are really going to have all of that stuff on their on their uh, machine? This thing here needs to be able to fire at five and a half rounds a minute base. So with a hundred percent crew, it would be like 5.7, 5.8. And then, uh, with all the equipment on it, it would be like nine point one or nine or like nine second reload. That is the kind of reload this thing needs because the aim and time, even though it says it's pretty good here, even with the uh, gun line drive, it's still over two two point three seconds. Um, with the machine, well, at least with its current armor, it cannot set exposed for any length of time at all because everything just goes through it like paper. Yeah. Um. This thing just does not have the armor that it should have. And it's and it does not have the rear fire it needs. Because this thing here should have a way better rear fire than it currently does. Because let's just look at Tiger 2. I have it open. Yep. Uh, let's just put the same equipment on the Tiger 2. Let's try and see how much of a difference there is. Okay. This thing here has a 6.99 rear fire uh, 6.99 rate of fire. Lova has 6.06. .06. This should be closer to like 6.5 at least. Because, oops, 
that there is still an 8.6 second reload and that doesn't feel too bad in the Tiger 2. I, mine has an 8.8 .8 second reload and that feels okay for a 105mm gun. A 10 second reload on a 105mm gun is just killer. It it's too it, it takes way too long to put out damage that everything just dies around you or you just get left behind before you can put, put out more than like 1200 damage sometimes because you're just so slow getting to the fight. Then by the time you get to the fight you lose all your health and then after... And after the fight is either won or lost, you're either left behind, or you die before you can do anything for your team. That's just the way it seems to work with this machine. Now currently, it looks like the uh, Tiger 2 gets a full round of minute over the, over the lava. A full round of minute. I don't want it to have a faster rate of fire than the Tiger 2, because that wouldn't really make much sense, honestly, because this is the non-premium and this is the premium I still think half a half a minute rate of fire to this would be a huge help so to summarize happy with the turret armor buff happy with this buff here I would nerf this uh, to like 100 and 130 effective something like that 130, 140, and that would make this at least 210 effective when it's flat on no angling. So, yeah, that's about everything that I want to cover in this. Uh, let me know what you think, and I'd be curious to know why, why you think I'm talking about my ass, or if you think that I have a point. Because this machine has been a machine that has been so bad for like five years. It's just been a worse T-34 for 5 years. So I think it's about time. If they're going to buff it now, now is the time to actually make it competitive. So yeah, that's my reasoning for why I want this thing to actually be decent. So yeah. As I said, leave feedback. Do you think, um, do you think I have a point? Do you not? Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.